Crafty Friends, I have a video for you that you really liked in the past and it will be a flip through of my layouts from 2023. I know it's April already, but I was just too lazy to deal with them. I keep them on the shelf and this already created a pile so high that I need to kind of deal with it because I don't have room to put away layouts I'm making this year. So I have a pile of 50 pages that I made last year and believe me, it's not my record. I had a year with 118 or something uh, layout so I'm making less of them but I'm making more of albums so kind of it's not that I'm not scrapbooking anymore plus I also started making more cards mm, so this is all of them 50 of them <laughs> and let me show you each of the layouts so I will put them aside to make room here and I will just take them one by one to show you. This is the layout. I think they are from the oldest, more or less. So this one was created in January and the last one were created in December. So this is the layout I made with a new... Um, move it on the other side so it will not block the light. Uh, this layout was made with Chocolate Kisses collection from Mintai Papers and I scrapbook pictures of my younger daughter leaking out <laughs> leftovers from making a cake. So this is the first. This is the page with my husband getting his new glasses and I was using um, Coco Vanilla Studio, uh, I think it was a legendary collection, but I am not sure if it was this one. Mm, another Coco Vanilla Studio layout, uh, this one features my girls, and I made a bouquet of flowers, uh, fussy cut it from the papers, from the die cuts, so uh, I really like this page. And here is the first page of five I made for my uh, big picture classes. And this one uh, was about using distress inks. And in this lesson, we were focus focusing on in blending. So all the background I made with in blending and I only added picture and some elements on top of it. So uh, a lot of in blending involved in this page. The second layout from this class is this one and here we will just smudging around uh, with distress inks and uh, adding water to make it float and I will leave you the link in the description, description box to all of my big picture classes. classes. Here is the third one where we were using distress inks to paint. First we painted the stamp, uh, stamped elements plus the background. Uh, and here is the fourth page from this class where we were using distress inks to simply stamp with them. So uh, I stamped those uh, balloons and then we splashed with uh, the inks on the background. And here is the final page from this class where we were, uh, I think, painting in the background with splatters. We were uh adding shades to the snowflakes with in blending elements so this is uh this is how it looks and i will move it aside to make room for my pages this one uh, was made with coco vanilla studio sunkist collection i would like to say i think it was that and i did some uh, die cutting for the title using my silhouette cameo and four five pictures of my daughter on the slide taken like you know bah, 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 bah. <laughs> pictures like this okay so this page i really really like i don't know it's about the colors or it's about the memories uh, the background I created by myself using uh, alpha stamps and uh, different colors of inks and I just stamped the words that relate to the, uh, to the pictures. And I am not sure if I do not have a process video on my YouTube channel for this one. Uh, I will have to check or you can just check if you are already on my uh, YouTube channel. 
This one uh, was made with Coco Vanilla Studio, I think this day's collection or Daydream, uh, one of those, I don't remember which one of those. And I created a big title uh, using my silhouette uh, cameo. This one is uh, made with uh, Country Garden collection mostly and bom Botany from uh, Mitai Papers. And I think I have a tutorial for this one on my YouTube channel. Here is another one and this one is a Halloween page that I did. <laughs> I did, I think, in uh, February because this was the time when I finally got my uh, box uh, of goodies from uh, scrapbook.com and there were some fun uh, dies, uh, so I decided why not to scrapbook the last year pictures from Halloween. My daughter was wearing the uh, parrot costume, uh, so this is the... Um, uh, this is the Halloween page made in February and I think I have a tutorial for this one but I am not sure. Another Coco Vanilla Studio page. This one is with Happy Days collection and it has a lot of texture in the background added with stencils and a cute picture of my daughter. All the pictures of my daughters are cute, right? <laughs> This one is uh, made with uh, Mintai Papers collection Places We Go and I title is Glad Gladiator Style and it's because I don't know if you have ever watched the Gladiator movie with Russell Crowe, it's kind of an older one and he was at the beginning of this uh, movie and I think at the end too going through the fields of um, wheat playing with his hands uh, on the wheat and there was the landscape of the uh, Tuscany ahead of him and we found this spot in Tuscany so we <laughs> went there by car and we tried to recreate the pose of the gladiator my husband was uh, like the closest here but the problem is that wheat was really, really uh, <laughs> short, so it was knee high. You couldn't just disappear in it. So this is the uh, layout uh, scrapbooking this story. Another page with Mintai papers. This is the older collection called, um, oh my God, I forgot the name of this collection, but it's a really, really old one. And I was also using the cute book to cut out those unicorns. And I really love how this page turned out. I love how colorful it is. It's one of my favorite pages from 2023. <laughs> I will leave it here and put some layouts on top of it. And here's another uh, page made with Places uh, We Go collection as it has this very warm color palette and it has a lot of like Italy related uh, for me, of course, uh, they are not like uh, sign it's Italy. Uh, related items so I decided to use it uh, to create kind of a landscape plus I added some mixed media in the background and I scrapbooked our pictures from our uh, Tuscany trip and the title is Under the Tuscan Sun I don't know if you remember there was a movie about a woman buying a villa in the Tuscany so yeah another page uh, with my cute baby so happy to meet you uh, and I used uh, Happy Days collection from Coca Vanilla Studio. Here is the page I made with some stencils from scrapbook.com. They are exclusive, uh, exclusive alpha uh, dies. And, uh, and I think this is also Coca Vanilla Studio Happy Days collection. At least those uh, fruits are. And I think, yeah, this is the Coco Vanilla Studio collection. This one was made with mini uh, mini collection from scrapbook.com called Very Sweet. There was a set of dyes with strawberries. There was a um, paper pad, the smaller paper pad with, um, uh, with patterns that could go with it. So I decided to make this... Uh, Page and I am not sure if I do not have a tutorial on this one too. 
uh, another Mintai Papers based page and this one is made with vacation collection. It was the older collection at the moment where I was making this picture so I don't think it's even sold anymore uh, in Mintai Papers uh, but I created it for some sort of challenge I think and I really love how this elements surround the picture another Mintai papers based page and this one is made with a school days collection it was released last year and i think it was my first page with this collection my daughter was graduating uh, elementary school last year it starts with the first uh, and last till the eighth grade so i scrapbooked the first picture taken of her when she was going uh, to the school in the first grade in September and this is one of the last pictures I took of her uh, where she was finishing the school uh, in eighth grade so hence the title first and last and here is another Mintai papers based page and this one is called uh, well it doesn't stick anymore one in a million uh and i just played with flowers and butterflies here so it's unsticking so i will <laughs> stick it right now so i will not lose the butterfly and i wanted to fill the background with the flowers i added a cute picture of my daughter here so everything is fine and amazing and moving on <coughs> another um, Coca Vanilla Studio based page. This one is um, made with Sunkist collection, I would like to say. And I was inspired by the colors of the swimsuit of my daughter, so I connected pink and blue here. Another uh, Sunkist collection Coca Vanilla Studio uh, layout, uh, and I played with some inks to create a colorful background, and I scrapbooked pictures from Barcelona. Another Coco Vanilla Studio page, this one was made, I would like to say, with Happy. No, it's not Happy Days. Um, these days daydream i am not sure i have a problem telling those collections apart just by the elements and here is another one made with school days and it's called bye bye school because it was the last day of the third grade for my younger daughter and this is the page called fall and I scrub uh, walking into fall and I scrub a really nice fall picture adding mixed media and some fall leaves and elements and this is the this day's collection from Coca Vanilla Studio and here is another fall page and this one is with four pictures of my girls and uh, I was using variety of uh, pattern papers from scrapbook.com uh, along with uh, die cuts to create leaves uh, with those and uh, alpha uh, stamps uh, to create a title so this is scrapbook.com based page and this is another uh, <coughs> sorry coco vanilla studio page and i uh, i scrapbooked it uh, scrapbooked um, this day's collection and I scrapbooked our trip to Hyde Park last year and I will move it aside and I will have <coughs> another series of five pages made for my big picture classes class and this one is from our trip to no it's from Oh, I'm sorry. It's from the class when I was scrapbooking travel pictures. And this page features different pictures from different locations uh, we took as a family uh, throughout the years. And I used this clever paper of the map of the Europe and the places we were like, this is from Barcelona. So there is an arrow here. This is from Paris Disneyland. So there is an arrow here. This is from Pisa, Italy, so there is even a Tower of Pisa here. This is from Acropolis, uh, Athens, so I'm pointing to the Acropolis. This is from Germany, Hyde Park, so it's pointing to Germany, Amsterdam. 
Amsterdam and London here. So I kind of scrapbooked years of <laughs> travels in one uh, page here. And here is another one. And this one features a big picture. And this is from Mont Saint-Michel. Uh, one big picture and a few smaller ones. And here is element you have to pull and there is a journaling on the back of this element and what i just noticed is that my colors uh, my pictures are uh, starting to lose colors because the, also the because of the sun my printer is horrible uh, because the inks are very light sensitive so i need to put those away into the boxes albums where it's dark and here is another page made for this class and this one features multiply photos uh, that looks like taken in a photo booth on the strips and this is from uh, my Cape Town trip. I was teaching classes for Mintai papers there with my friend Carola. Uh, it was before the pandemic uh, so I have a really really wonderful memories from that time. And here is another travel. Uh, page and this one also has a hidden journaling here and uh, I created a background using uh, uh, alpha stickers and again I kind of uh, <laughs> created words that relate to the picture so it was in a pianosa island in Tuscany so I have Tuscany, Pianosa, Splendid, Turquoise because of the water, Mediterranean, Trip, Vacation, Family, Snorkel, Cruise uh, so all the words relate to the pictures I scrapbooked here and here is the last page I made for this class and this one is like itinerary of one bigger trip and I was visiting my friend in Australia uh, Zoe from Coca Vanilla Studio I was teaching some classes there and I spent three weeks in Australia so I scrapbooked like chronologically what happened there through this path and I have 11, uh, 18 pictures so this is from the airport me traveling to Australia me meeting Zoe for the first time in person this is the retreat I was teaching um, this is uh, the beach at the retreat uh, here is the Coffs Harbour uh, I visited with uh, Zoe, she lives uh, there, there is the big banana farm in Coffs Harbour and there is the road we took to Brisbane for a few days where I was also teaching classes and here is uh, the Australia Zoo we visited, so I had a koala adventure encounter, uh, we also had some kangaroos and we visited Brisbane and here is my uh, travel back home. So this is such a fun uh, page to make when you have a travel with multiply pictures, multiply locations, you can just create a path and add pictures uh, in between. So I also added uh, the names like a retreat, Coffs Harbor, Brisbane to the locations. So this is the five pages I made for this class. And here is the page that I didn't use in the class because I didn't like it. It's another uh, African uh, page um, from pictures from our trip to South Africa, but I just didn't like this page, so I didn't include it into the class. I made a new one uh, and this just stayed here. Uh, here is uh, another page from another <laughs> Uh, big picture classes class uh, I taught last year I think I had three or four of those uh, last year and this is with birthday pages and party pages birthday pages so I use the picture here as a piece of a, um, pie chart and it's titled Maya's five things at 10 years old and I have a picture of her and I added uh, some elements like they create the whole Maya persona, Pokemon, drawing, fantasy books, roller coaster and Lego. And I would say at 11, nothing changes here. <laughs> I could make exactly the same page with her with just a different picture. And I made it with a mix of things. I don't even remember the collections this is the uh, another page and in this one we were creating like a simple uh, party hats 
uh, so I was creating a birthday page with, with no birthday kind of theme collection so just a generic collection it's a happy days from coca vanilla studio and I needed to create some birthday elements here by myself this is another one uh, party animal the title I created with uh, uh, silhouette cameo and for pictures I don't remember what we are focusing in this lesson I think a bold title and this is another one with multiply photos and grid design where you can add many many pictures easily one two three four five six seven eight nine ten pictures in one page and the last one highlighting the number of the years <laughs> picture on the uh, person on the picture is having so my daughter was celebrating third birthday and i took a lot of numbers from variety of sticker sheets uh, to create the fun background here and i will of course of course leave you the link in the description box uh, <laughs> i would say we are three third three fourth done uh, of pages so not so much anymore and here is a mint eye papers collection called mr mr fix it and i scrapbooked the picture of my uh, husband uh, fixing the sink uh, with my dog as an assistant he needs to put his face everywhere he need to know uh, what we are doing so he was just closely following my husband hence the title misters fix it uh, so i created this layout using the pipes from the collection i basically do not make masculine layouts i hate making them i don't know how to make them but this one just popped into my head i knew i need to use those pipes to make the page so i'm really happy how it turned out here is another page with Coco Vanilla Studio This Days collection. For this layout, I use Pretty Salva hair collection from Mintopia. This is the uh, European brand. It's from Spain and they have really, really beautiful uh, collections. And I used those um, uh, gold foiling uh, hot foiling plate uh, to make uh, those uh, little uh, sentiments and I scrapbook the picture of my daughter it's a forest creature another layout called uh, amazinger and this one was made with Mintai papers um, bohemian wedding collection of course I didn't use wedding pictures I used my uh, prom uh, my daughter's prom picture a uh, prom uh, dress uh, and it's called Amazing Girl. And this is one of the, well, and only <laughs> Christmas page I made last year. And again, I am using a grid design and I am playing with Celebrate Collection from Mintopia Studio here. And I, it was my first time playing with hot waxing. Um, so I made a lot of those and I wanted to feature them all on the page. Hence, I made this circular uh, design, circular grid with uh, pictures of my uh, daughters from year before. And few final pages. Those are pages I made with the Minty Papers kit um, with like uh, chocolate kisses collection as a main theme a lot of chippies there are a lot of elements in this kit and i created tutorials uh, you get a link to the tutorials when you purchase the kit so this is my first ever i don't think maybe not ever but in a very very long time double page uh, so it's called the prom queen and I am again using the pictures of my daughter. And here I used the ready to go scene. I just cut it out the inside and backed it with picture. And the second page is like a grid design uh, with pictures of my daughter and some embellishing. So this is how the double sided page looks. Here is another one made with the same kit. Uh, love this street. I scrapbook my daughter using Struwaffel in Netherlands, Amsterdam. 
and here is the final page and i don't know uh, it's so busy i made it with the scraps i thought it was a good idea but in the end i don't like this page at all um i don't know even though i like busy pages this one is not my favorite so this is it this is all of my 2023 uh, layouts thank you so much for sticking with me for 25 minutes it was a long one and see you soon on some other video bye